Hi guys, John here. If you're starting a YouTube channel, you're going to need to see this video. We are about to take a look at the ultimate YouTube starter kit. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here we go. The ultimate YouTube starter kit. This includes a lot of great things. You can see that the box has been cut open to make it easy for me on camera here, but let's see what we've got. I have a good idea what's in here based on our order, of course, but we have first off, first and foremost, the Canon M50 camera. We went ahead and bought the uh, the EOS um, starter set. It's the video set that includes the Rode microphone and the M50 camera. We'll get into that in just a minute. Um, this particular one also comes with a Canon bag and it comes with a wide angle and a telephoto lens, extra little lenses from Vivitar. They came with our particular kit. We'll see how those are. Comes with a strap and there's some kind of a little video, uh, feels like a little tripod mount or something in there as well. We've got an accessory kit that includes uh, cleaning supplies, microfiber towel, and a very small tripod, so we'll see what that's like. And then we have, for our still photography when needed, a nice little flash. And what is this? We've got a filter kit, so there's a series of filters in there. We've got, oh, here come the SD cards. Here's two of our SD cards from SanDisk. We have a card reader. It's like Christmas morning. Another SD card. A small little tripod that comes along with that, so that's handy. And this is the adapter for the little Vivitar lenses. And then we also have an HDMI cable, a micro HDMI. So that helps if you're wanting to connect to a larger screen or maybe your computer. And then as a, uh, oh, this is a, the final little thing. This is really cool. This is a little remote that actually, you know, lets you trigger the remote away from the camera, you know, keep that still for your best results. And then this was a separate little purchase that we made. This is something that we've been recommending and a lot of YouTubers are really fond of, and that's the Joby Gorilla Pod. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. It's the 5K, not the 3K or the 1K. This one supports bigger lenses, bigger cameras, more weight, gives you a little more stability when you're walking around. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is the video creator kit from Canon. We're gonna start with that since all of the accessories go with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Let's see what we got here. All right. Get the box out of the way. And first thing we see is the Rode microphone, the Video Mic Go lightweight on-camera microphone from Rode, and that has uh, another SD card. So we are gonna be set for SD cards. This one's only a 32 uh, gigabyte, but that's certainly handy for a lot of our smaller projects. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. And then we have what we've all been waiting for, the Canon M50 EOS camera. So the M50 is, is really kind of a smaller, more affordable version of Canon's mirrorless line that we're now seeing in the R cameras. In fact, we're shooting this video on a Canon EOS R. Uh, the R5 is probably in our future, though not here yet. But, but this is a cool thing. If you guys are familiar with EOS cameras at all, you'll know just how compact this really is. And this has become a favorite of YouTubers all over the place for lots of good reasons. And um, in any case, so here is the main camera body. You'll notice that we have the same basic Canon uh, settings that we're used to on any of our Canon EOS cameras. And so important for vlogging, we've got this beautiful little flip out uh, screen that we can manipulate around, show ourselves, whatever, when we wanna do those shots. So we'll take more of a look at that in just a sec. In addition, in the box here, we have what appears to be our charger. If I can get that apart there. Let's see, yep, sure enough. So here's the, here's the charger. Uh, we, I'm sure there's a battery in here somewhere as well. Yes, here it is now. All right, here's our battery pack. We'll get that going in just a few minutes. Comes with a nice little Canon strap in addition to what I think was another strap in what we saw there. I'm gonna move that out of the way. And then finally, one of the more important parts is we have one of our, our little M50 lenses here. It does come with a kit lens in this case. And let's see. This I'm just going to move out of the way. 
And we are looking at a very nice compact little lens here. This is a 15 to 45 millimeter Canon lens. And this, you know, here's our nice little little lens there. This is a, this is a great little kit, guys. You're going to like this. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the lens on. Get a little bit of a look at the sensor in there. It is an APS-C sensor, so you get a crop sensor. It is capable of up to 4K video. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, on the EOS cameras, if you're not familiar, you line up, in, in this case on the M series, you line up the little white dot. On the, uh, on the regular EOS series, you line up the red dot for EF lenses and the white square for EFS lenses. So there's our little package. We're gonna take a look at some of the accessories. All right, so in addition in this kit, in addition to the lens, we get two of these Vivitar, uh, they call them lenses. There's a wide angle and a uh, telephoto, but they're really more like really elaborate filters. It comes with this uh, little filter ring, and this is just a little threaded ring. It looks just like what we're all kind of used to as, as lens filters, but you can see there's just a total pass through there, and that will mount to the front of the camera. And then I'm just going to take this one out of the way. This is the telephoto. I'll show you that in just a minute. But this, this is the wide angle. So we're going to open this up. We got a nice little bag in here. I'll get the box out of the way. And what this does is we've got a nice little cap on it. But you can see it's got a nice little macro setup on it. And it just unscrews at the back. And it will screw right onto that filter ring. The filter ring screws onto both the camera. Obviously, it screws onto the camera at the front of the lens. And then it screws right onto the back. There's, there's threads here. And I don't know if you can see that through there or not, but it just gives us a really great little magnification, kind of wide angle close-up setup for that one. And then the other one is here. And that gives us, once I open that up, this one's more of a telephoto, a little broader little longer lens and it's the same kind of thing and it has the little threads at the back also I'll go ahead and pull that cap off so you can get a good look at what's going on there and then here's the front and that is quite a little magnifier it's got some really good weight to it the glass is really beautiful um, and then that will attach you know right on the front of the camera obviously with the lens cap off but that gives you an idea we'll put that on in a, in a few minutes but anyway all right moving on to the next thing all right, so here's our little filter kit that came with it. We'll take a look at that. Yeah, this is nice. Comes with a little carrying pouch. Keeps them all in there. Another another Vivitar item. The Vivitar items that are included here seem to be really nice, actually. And we just get uh, we get three little filters. You can see there's there's some different. Uh, that one's kind of purple, and there's uh, looks like probably a daylight filter and something else. So in any case, that's what that is all about. The kit comes with two additional 32 gig uh, SanDisk SD cards. Um, those came with the kit. The other one, as you know, came with the mic. So that gives us three 32s. And in addition to that, we did buy an Extreme Pro 128 uh, to have that extra space as well. So we should be in really good shape with that. All right, guys, now we're getting to the good stuff. So here's the Rode microphone and the Gorilla Pod, And we're gonna start putting this kit together in a usable form. The uh, the Rode mic, this little shotgun mic, is just a great accessory. So it, it did come, as we mentioned, with a second SD card, which is really nice. Uh, actually, a third SD card, I should say, for our kit there. So here's the Rode mic, and this shotgun mic is going to mount right to the hot shoe, right on top of that. We'll put that on in just a minute. And then this is our Joby Gorilla Pod. The 5K is rated up to 11 pounds, and that's a, that's a great way to uh, ensure that you have a, a hefty enough tripod there for uh, your camera system. The last thing you wanna do is take your thousand dollar investment in all this gear and all this stuff, or, or if you get the camera by itself, you know, about $600, you don't wanna trust that to a you know, $30 tripod or something unless it's really sturdy, which many of them are but you wanna be sure that, that it's right. This one, instead of being made from the lightweight plastic, is actually made from aluminum. One of the things that was interesting when I pulled that out of the box, I can actually feel that cold, the cold of the metal there. So, and it's definitely heavier and more beefy than some of the others I've used in the past. So that is nice. These, these things, uh, you've got a swivel head up top, nice little ball head. And uh, let's see here if I can figure out how we're doing. There we go. So you can see we've got full swivel there. We can mount the camera any way we want. This tightens that down locks that in so that's all good so to put the kit together what we're going to do is we're going to if i can figure out how to do it here we are going to open up our mic there we go 
And this, one of the things that's really cool about this mic is it has this great little shock mount on it. So you'll see when this thing's vibrating around, it keeps that vibration out of the, the little hot shoe mount, which is really helpful. On the M50, we've got a nice little uh, cover here for the hot shoe. We're gonna pull that out of the way so that we can put the mic right in there. And now our little camera looks a whole lot bigger. And we're gonna put that right on. There we go, all right, that's nice and secure. And then we have our little video mic cable. And Rode does a really nice job with these. They have these really cool um, kind of spiral wound cables and it keeps, it gives you enough, it gives you the, the length and the slack that you need without a, a whole bunch of extra stuff hanging around in the way. So that's nice. So because the M50 is a little new to me, I got to find the mic door. Let's see here. That is not the right side. I bet it's this one. Sure enough. Okay, so what we're gonna do is there's a spot right on the back center of the mic where we're gonna plug that in. And then we're simply gonna bring around right over here the, uh, the jack right into the mic jack. So this thing is ready to go for video. And then we're gonna mount that to our Joby pod, which will come in. Right here is a nice little plate up top here. If I can get that off, there we go. Okay, so we take the little X-shaped plate right off the top of the tripod and we fold out. It has this nice little fold out thing on the, on the handle so you can screw that right into the base of the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You'll see here's the mount for the, the camera just like, just like any camera. And we'll screw that in. All right, and let's see if we have that the way we want it. We'll give that a nice little snug fit. And that will slide right onto the top of our Joby tripod. Once I have it go in the right direction. There we go. And we'll screw that down. And there we go, we're nice and secure. So we can take this, turn it around the way that we want it facing us. We're gonna lock all of this down. That should keep that from swiveling, it does. These are really nice rubber gripped handles as well, which I'm pretty pleased with. We're gonna put that up in the position we want. All right, so as you can see, we have our M50 all set up. I can look at, uh, I can look at the guys across the room taping me here today. I can look at myself. This is a great, it's a nice stable image. I can flip the screen back around the back if I want to, or I can have it facing me when I'm shooting myself, either of which is great. The other thing I wanted to show you really quick as I turn this off for just a minute, is the, the Joby tripod is great, man. This thing, it, it'll let you wrap it around. I don't know if you guys have used one of these before or not. You can wrap these things around stands and ladders and all kinds of stuff. It gives you all kinds of really tight little fits. You know, you can have it wrap around a rail to film yourself. So there's a lot of things out in the world that you can use as a, as a little tripod uh, in addition to holding this thing. And then you just kind of straighten it out and get it back the way you want it. When you're ready, it takes a little bit of effort. This one being brand new, they're really tight, which is cool. So that's neat. You can also set it up on the ground, much like a regular tripod. So if you're on an uneven surface, like you're in the dirt or any of that stuff, this thing is a great way to be sure everything's nice and stable and your camera is secure. So anyway, guys, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Um, if you have questions, put them in the comments below. I'll make a point of looking at that or, or drop us a line at jthou.com. And I'll see you soon with more tips and tricks. Take care.